this video, I will select and heal a capture. Hold the space bar down to bring up navigation tools. That's zoom and next to it was pan. Click select. The brush is the default. Carefully run the brush over the whole capture, making sure you get its edges also. You're selecting all the face mesh here. Incidentally, I made this donut capture in 123D Catch. I can make the brush smaller for more control. Now, once I'm done, I am going to click on Modify and then Smooth Boundaries. And this will help get rid of some of the raggedness of that boundary. You can see all the options I have here. And when I smooth it as much as I can, I'll click Accept. Now I'm going to go back to Modify, Invert, and then hit the Delete key so that I'm just left with the capture. Holding the space bar down again and zooming in, I can see the bottom and how I've smoothed it out. Now at Analysis Inspector, I can see the holes in the mesh. If I click on a handle, that heals it. If I right click on a handle, that exits in the inspector and selects that area the handle was pointing to, in this case, the bottom of the donut. I'd like to do an edit fill, erase and fill, but these red lines tell me that Mesh Mixer can't do it. Clearly, I've overcorrected when I smoothed the boundaries. So I can undo, undo, undo until I get back to where I smoothed them and then try smoothing them again. Or I can just go to the inspector and say Auto Repair All. And in this case, it did a good enough job.